Hey, Wendy Williams, what are you doing? How come every time there's an issue regarding black folks or someone black that is speaking out against something that an overarching, largely white society has done and they're speaking in terms that are powerful, you have to go off and basically attack that person. That's what you did with Jesse Williams and you did it on the sly. You said, well, okay, why aren't there historically white colleges? For those who might be watching both her and me and have this nutty idea that the KKK is a civil rights group, let me tell you something. The reason why we are at the place today where we have what are called historically black colleges is because during times as recently, within my lifetime, as 50 years ago when I was being born, you couldn't go to college, okay, as a black person. And black colleges rose because those are the only colleges that would give us an opportunity to gain an education. And that was 50 years ago. Think about that. That's within my lifetime that this sort of nonsense, this kind of behavior, this kind of institutionalized racism was active. And it's taken just the first part of my lifetime as I was a child and the advent of the civil rights movement for that to be eliminated, to go away. And for us to feel free enough to apply to, as I did, first the University of Texas at Arlington and then the University of California at Berkeley for my master's degree in city planning. All within this lifetime, the same lifetime that started with colleges that I couldn't attend simply because I was black. Black. No one white has ever had that problem in the United States and ever will. So you can't compare the two. Anyone who offers a comparison like that, like Wendy Williams, is just speaking out of their ass for ratings, to get you upset and me too, and make counter content. That's what it's about. It doesn't mean that Wendy is right. In fact, it means she's completely off a rocker. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, though.